screens and citations. Before we start today's video, I want you to take a moment to like this video, subscribe, and not only that, but let's try something new. If we can get 1,000 views for this video, or 1,000 new subscribers by July 1st, 2022, I'll reward you, the fans, with something awesome. So, take this video, share it on your social media, share it to your friends, your family, whoever, and let's make this goal possible. And also, don't forget to watch, like, and share our other awesome videos. Now on with the show. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of a new Trekkie. My five-year mission to search out Star Trek media, to seek out other fans and merchandise, to boldly go where no fan has gone before. If this video goes up a bit late, or it goes up a bit early, May the 4th or May the 5th be with you. Yeah, I know. Can't help it, I'm sorry. You can like both things, but moving on, it seems my sensors have indicated that we have more reviews to watch for the next generation. So let's do it! Today's two vi uh, today's reviews we're talking about is The Naked Now and The Code of Honor. Let's start with The Naked Now. So, The Naked Now was directed by Paul Lynch and written by T.C. Fontana under the pseudonym, pseudonym of Michael J. Michael Bingham. So the, uh, this episode is sort of like a follow-up to the of an episode from the original Star Trek um, run, The Naked Time. And in this case, but in this time, the crew of the Enterprise D, um, they encounter a they encounter a research ship where everyone are all found dead and they quickly become infi infected with the same infliction that those had suffered on James T. Kirk's USS Enterprise many, many decades ago. I'll be quite, quite frank. I can't believe I just said it that way. But I'll be honest. Although at times I thought it was, at times they say when, compared to the original, like say where the, although like times you know it could be funny because some things in the original episode could be funny because hey, you know certain characters are just going wacky and crazy in the original episode, and the naked time, where in here it's it, it can be a little bit serious. Although it still follows the same beats, in that, oh, like say a certain character acts the opposite way that normally did, like in say Natasha Yar, she becomes quite uh, seductive towards Data at one point. I'm sure he meant now. So, you should get into uniform. But I got out of my uniform for you, Data. Do you know how old I was when I was abandoned? Chronological age? No. I'm afraid I am not familiar with- Five. Yeah, so that happens. Um, and... Wesley, uh, he ends up... trying to... he becomes captain for a bit by... in a way, taking over the ship by... Uh, using voice command to make it seem like uh, Picard gives him control of the ship in a way 
And yeah. Sort of like, say, how in original episode, uh, Officer Riley becomes captain by anointing himself. And in all honesty, I'm gonna be honest. <sighs> Although I like the fact that, you know, they did this whole virus that makes them, you know, act different ways than they actually are, is interesting. You know, it would have been cool if they could have done that with that data. But, and, I mean, it's pretty cool the fact that, you know, uh, Gordy, he ends up getting, he ends up revealing, say, hey, I want my vision. I don't want to be blind anymore. So there's that. I will say that, I'll be honest, I just didn't really enjoy that, like this episode, because I thought, like, say, although I like some things, like, say, I find it kind of interesting how, uh, Picard was kind of, uh, he was kind of, him and Dr. Crusher were kind of very flirtatious. You owe me something. You do realize that, don't you? I'm a woman. I haven't had the comfort of a husband. A man. I will say that I just found the original episode of The Naked Time a better episode in a way. Because it seems like original, like, although there is more going on, like, say, they're trying to get away from this planet, I just felt like, say, there was more dramatic things going on in the original episode. So, I just think the original The Naked Time is a bit of a better episode compared to The Naked Now. So, we get, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying this is the worst of The Next Generation. Because, I mean, like, we got a lot of episodes to deal with when it comes to uh, The Next Generation. So, yeah. I mean, is it, it's entertaining, but... I doubt this is going to be an episode that I would come back to and uh, watch over again. So, we'll go ahead and move on to the next episode, which is Code of Honor. <laughs> The episode was written by Catherine Powers and Michael Barron and directed by Ross Mayer. Uh, apparently he was uh, replaced partway through the filming of the episode with the first assistant director, Les Landau. In this episode, the ship is v visiting the planet Bengal 2 and is trying to receive a vaccine that is very important. Um, crewman Natasha Yar, she ends up getting abducted by their leader, and, uh, they have a basic code of honor that like, says, hey, uh, you, basically you have to show strength and power and win in battle and all that, and he thinks, oh, hey, she's a bit of a badass and all that, so, yeah, and, see, and, yeah, he, uh, his... I guess it was his wife. She thinks like say, I want this man for myself. So, uh, uh she ends up fighting against, uh, Yar, uh, Yar and the Sever, the Sever, like, you know, the wife of the leader. She ends up, they end up fighting and all that. <laughs> try to see I shall win honor and if you know if they win if crew of enterprise wins they get their vaccine and all that and I mean overall compared to like say this last episode I think this one actually works a bit better and the fact that it gives a bit of in a way deep like you know character development for Natasha, yeah, and the fact that, you know, 
she shows that she is a capable fighter she still has emotions you know and all that so i mean you know it seems like they had beginning of a well-written character in all honesty and yeah compared to the previous episode which is naked the naked now or yeah uh I thought this one was better, better in all honesty. Uh, I think they like, said there was going to be some themes. They like, say uh, cultural differences, the idea of men over w women and all that, superiority and all that, all that. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, mean, I think this was pretty good. Or the way other cultures react to other cultures, in all honesty. But, I mean, I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna say that I thought this episode was actually pretty good. So, yeah, there we go. Two episodes from the original first season of Star Trek The Next Generation. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts on these two episodes? Put your thoughts in those comments down below. And let me know, and as always, thank you for watching, and... Review... Review, review out.